Welcome to Manic Autistic Superhero Chapter 9, Gender. So Shadow took over Chow's business. It was a large company that studied supers and set guidelines for legal supers. Shadow, or Sam, made changes to how the law deals with criminal supers. A big one. Some of the company's money came from prison labor, so putting the, them in psychiatric care rather than prison wasn't well received. Shadow and I met a lot. He liked my common sense change ideas. Miss Lily, Eli Nikolai is here to see you. Your secretary still calls you by birth name? She's got tenure. Come on, Chow, this is time sensitive. Oh, right. Uh, what do you need? $30,000. Thirty. Hundred, hundred, zero, uh, why? Uh, tell me. A friend wants it. Or wait, how many zeros? Why is this time sensitive? Slam. Oh, come on. Chow always just gave it to me. Oh, what's this all about? Slam. It's to pay off a woman so she won't go to the press about me. You told a girl your, about your identity. A non-disclosure agreement? It was a woman. Same thing. No! I'm not giving you a cent. Wait. Oh, come on. It's not the same thing if you talk about... <gasps> you bleep! You user! You're supposed to be a role model. F an icon for all supers. And now you want money to keep someone quiet? Well, no amount of money will ever keep me quiet. Mac? I wish you'd just die. Oh, but you're an immortal and can only be die by the hand of another immortal. So bleep and kill yourself. You bleeping bleepy bleep. Manic, don't let this be you. Be bigger than him. But... Bark, 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 bark. I just don't understand this world. I don't understand him. I don't understand me. Sometimes I want to be one gender, but I don't want assumptions made about me. Manic, not everyone judges everything thing on gender, and if they do, just ignore them. So wait, Manic, what gender are you? Bleep off! Why are you still here? I still need money. But about your gender, I am no gender. Now leave! And what will you tell the media? Tell them you were fired when the new CEO found out. What? Fired? Vacate the premise immediately. You'll will ship you your belongings. I should warn you that they are found out when you take away a person's life. Twitch. All they have, they're willing to try anything to get it back. Shadow! If you're panicking, so was I. I guess I forgot. He's called a shadow. He can become a shadow. Good for defense, but a zero in offense. So he was safe, but unable to stop Super Dude. My next thought was for my own safety, but surely he wouldn't commit murder in front of Shadow. My logic would prove false, despite the fact that harming me would would only lower his status and image. Wait, did I see someone in the doorway? Why does time move slower when you're terrified? Help! See, here's why I made a mistake. I added a witness. What the hell can one do against super strength? I suppose it was this that made me feel even less powerful. The guy I saw was really the Super Murray, or Split, who could split into different copies, each with different powers. But the fact that Super Strength beat Super Strength was a downer. So Eli was arrested, and not surprisingly, he made a scene and fled. Sam made a public press conference offering both financial and medical services for all the people Eli abused. However, he flinched when they brought up the next excuse. Miss Lobo, is Super Dude a super villain now? Who could possibly stop him from wreaking havoc? My name is Mr. Sam Lobo. I am a man and will not answer to anyone who forgets this. Although I saw this as heroic. Well, is he a villain? What? That point is irrelevant. Just give us an answer. Most just saw it as a question dodge. Sam was making progress with who they were. I, however, was in a denial spiral. I've been putting off how to tell people about my gender, but that couldn't last much longer. I should just pick a gender that makes me happy, but neither make me happy. Does anything make me happy? Oh, God, nothing does. I'm miserable. Why, life, why? 
I always hated my childhood, and looking back, a lot of trauma wouldn't have happened if I was identified as the opposite gender. But does that mean that was my gender? The most irritating thing is I could identify which gender I was attracted to, but not my own. My lack of control of my powers and my indecision seemed to be triggering each other and getting worse every day. I'm trapped in a prison we call gender, where everyone fits in line. Where to the rich we do pander, where fortune never favors the kind. And I'm caught in self-recession. Is it triggering by my depression? Is it why I have no expression? Can't we get rid of this transgression? Is it becoming an obsession? Will I ever make the confession? Can you even win with non-aggression? Have I left an impression? I'm trapped in a prison we call gender, where everyone fits in line, where to the rich we do pander, where fortune never favors the kind, but to all of it we are blind. If I don't have to rhyme to be rhythmic, why should I have to die just to break a point? To all those who have died by one hand or another, I won't forget what they meant and what they never said. Silence is a killer and ignorance is a murder weapon. All the times I've had no words, all the feelings never spoken. I've got to find a method to end this madness. I'm trapped in a prison we call gender, where everyone fits in line, where to the rich we do pander, where fortune never flavors the kind, but to all of it we are blind. My powers were getting more and more in my face. It all seemed to be linked to the indecision in my life. Of course, I just ignored most of it. Ah, dang, meant to appear in the tennis court, but ignoring yourself is a dangerous game. Now let's see. Where am I now? <gasps> I've done it! M001, the universe all others split from. The next thing is... Find Manic. Part of Sam's idea was to make public the Supers' identities, along with protection for their loved ones. So we held a pre press conference with all active superheroes without their masks. He also made public... Ch Super Dude and Chow's full names. Lobo, Miss Lobo, Miss Lobo, Mr. Lobo, are you afraid of Super Dude returning? Only one reporter called Sam by the right title of the whole conference, so they were the only one we talked to. Between Manic, Murray, and myself, no one is in danger. That said, Eli has several arrest warrants on him, and if anyone sees him, please dial 911 immediately. Miss Lobo, Miss Lobo, Miss Lobo, Mr. Lobo, are, there are rumors you are recruiting villains as heroes. We have a new Supers for Freedom plan in play, allowing any super to pay past debts or even jail time by serving the community for good. All, any super may apply to help their community for good. Mr. Lobo, many c civilians idolize supers. Do you believe more supers will create a group of fans who put their safety at risk imitating them. When it comes to s public safety for imitating supers, I'd like I'd remind people that no two supers in human history have had exactly the same power. Don't imitate. Seek your own. Are you implying that anyone might have superpowers? Some people are born with powers. Some get some of us get them at different ages, and we have little info on why some people have them and others don't. In fact, our own Manic only recently got their powers. We have assigned a new division of the company to study super bloodlines in, in our DNA samples. We've already partnered with several DNA research labs. Later, I thought that went well, except for you falling asleep. Nobody noticed. Manic, don't you see we're the counterculture? People will be looking for reasons to distrust us. And that's bad? What? Yes, why would it be good? Well, I mean, isn't that how every new wave of political correctness begins, isn't it? I'm not following. People always fear change, but the right people accept it because they understand it. More Then more and more people understand it since more people are trying to explain it. 
that's an interesting perspective. You really think some people will support us? Well, of course, why not? Well, most people disagree with us. So, we're working to help progress. I know, I know. Hey, wanna play? Uh, no thanks. What about video games? Uh, a, a storm was on the way to the office. It was in the mountains. It'd be in the city by the end of the night. Ah! Ah! Zap, zap, zap. Ah! Zap, 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 zap. Ah! Zap, 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 zap. You know there are healthier ways to... I will end you! Ding dong! Zap! Who dare ring the doorbell of the bat barn? Wait, we don't have a doorbell. Yeah, no, you don't. I just played the sound on my phone to let you know I was here. Hello, intruder! Brother. Oh dear, must we do this? Hey, flick! Well, jerk, jerk, jerk! Me, a jerk? It was your mother who was the jerk. Ending her crime reign and mob connections to start a family with that fool. And what a family. A traitor gives birth to a traitor. How ironic. You tried to rebuild what you thought was a better empire, but surprise, surprise, another traitor. Because of this new super, your playmate super dude is an outlaw, and you're next on the chopping board. Why did you come here? To kick me while I'm down? Ha! Like I'd waste time reminding you you're completely bleeped. You seem to know that. No, Sasha. I came to offer you a deal. A deal? And what do you get out of it? Very good. You understand my help comes at a high price. I want my mob connections back. I know you reestablished them. The connections only worked before Manic posted that vid and ruined my rep. I've lost everything due to what I said. And there's no way I can pull a I never said that. Heh. You won't have to go back on your word. Nothing you said disagrees with what the real supers want. And how's that? What are you talking about? First, you must hold a conference revealing your true identity. Challenge the worldview by this new c CEO and super. You will present your ideas as political change is needed, but they are moving in the wrong direction. I could never pull that off. Women don't have any place in politics, and I could never be taken seriously the way I am. Urgh. Maybe this was a waste of time. Now, don't you two go giving up just yet. Have you, heard, have you seen the new head of Super Regulatory Services? Lily, or Sam Lobo, is fighting for trans rights. All reports say Sam Lobo is truly themselves now. Don't you see? This could be you. I can't be like that. I was born wrong, and I can't get back the time I spent pretending. So, you only get one life. You need to be who you are, so be it. Forget the past. You can't change it. But you can change the future. Life is strange. Those who hurt can come from loving families, and those who heal can come from broken ones. Dylan! What the bleep are you wearing? I'd never let a daughter out of the house like that, and I sure as bleep won't let my son out like that. Dude, what are you going to do to stop me? If you want that anklet off, I have to do hero work as fine Vicky. Face it, this is my house now. I'm top dog, so what I say goes. Vine was a member of the Super Chat group. She was always so kind to me, and I repaid that kindness by helping her pay off her family's debts. Vine had told me her father controlled her life, so I told her to stand up to him. However, I wasn't fully informed on how he'd react. Dylan! Ah! Okay, so Vine had made some bad choices, but she'd never physically attack her family. Vine stared down the face of murderous intent, and then, blam, she witnessed it. Oh, bleep, you really did it! Vine's father was shot in the back of the head. They had wanted to be rid of him. Now the only way he'd get better was if she could talk to him and try to save his mind. She asked me, what do I tell him? I told her anything, and everything, as long as it is your truth. I would not hear for her for a long time. That concludes chapter 9. Thank you.